Okay guys, how to install a firmware update on your dash cam. So if you're getting the update firmware error or maybe the top light is yellow, you need to update the firmware, but the dash cam is not gonna work until you do that. So this is how you do it. First of all, make sure the dash cam has a good connection. Do it in your car, preferably. I'm doing it in my house. So as you can see, I've got one of these adapters. I find when I plug this into, for example, the USB of an iPhone charger in the main socket, there's not enough power and the lights will just blink on, off, on, off, insufficient power. So for whatever reason, doing it on my laptop works perfectly. So plug it in and wait for the lights to come on. While you're waiting for the lights to come on, or beforehand even, what you can do is reinstall the Hive Mapper app. The reason we do this is because if you go in the settings page, when you're updating the dash cams firmware, there's two steps. Step one, in this setting tab here, you're going to see something that says downloading. Um, and some people are having issues where the download, so downloading the latest firmware version onto your phone, the download doesn't complete. It gets to 50%, 55%, and then just goes back down to zero, and it's like an endless loop. So if you just delete the app off your phone completely, make sure you upload any data that you've got on there first, delete the app, reinstall the app, and then reinstalling the app, make sure you will have the latest firmware already downloaded. As I said, updating your firmware is a two part process. Step one, download the latest firmware onto your phone. Step two, connect to Dashcam Wi Fi and update the firmware on the Dashcam. So by deleting the app, reinstalling it, step one is already done. We've got the latest firmware version I know that I have on my phone. So the lights have just come on the Dashcam. I can connect to the Dashcam Wi Fi. And so I've just connected to the Wi-Fi. It should, in a second, pop up here with all the details of the camera. Yep, so we are connected, and there we go. So as we can see, it says installing. It doesn't say downloading because it's already downloaded 100% when I deleted and reinstalled the app. So it now just says installing. So this is the final step of the process. Now all we need to do is wait for it to get to 100% installed. What happens next is the dash cam will then restart itself. But first, let's wait for that to go up to 100%. So if you watch this number closely, you can see at the moment it's stuck on 42% and won't go any further. A lot of you may find the same problem, um, but it's okay, don't worry, we can solve this. So in my case, it's stuck on 42%. And then as you'll see in a minute, it then actually jumps back down. So pay attention, you'll see it in a second, jump all the way back down to something like 10%. Now this can happen, what you're seeing here. So as you saw, it jumped back down. Um, from 40% to whatever it was, 10%, and it's now climbing back up again. I suspect this is not going to work and we're not gonna to get to 100%. Don't worry, I'll show you what to do if that happens. So actually, it's gone above 42% where it was before. We may get lucky and this might go to 100%, but I'm gonna show you what to do anyway if it doesn't get to 100%. But just have a lot of patience with this process. It can take a while. Leave the app open, connected to the dash cam, for at least sort of, you know, 15, 20 minutes, at the very, very least, 20 minutes actually. So now it didn't actually get to 100%, but it says restarting dash cam. So I'm also not convinced this is gonna work. Again, don't worry, I'll show you what to do if this happens, but it says restarting dash cam. I'm waiting, I'm gonna give it a few minutes, and if the dash cam doesn't restart, I'm going to manually restart it myself. So actually the lights just went off on the dash cam, it is restarting. So this is um, very likely a successful, successful install. So the lights have just come back on. My phone is probably disconnected from the dash cam Wi-Fi and connected to my home Wi-Fi, let's check. Yes, it's gone back to home Wi-Fi. The lights are back on the dash cam, I'm gonna reconnect. And then we can see, bam, jobs are good in. Firmware version 4.8.10 as of time of recording this video, which is the 19th of June, 2024, that's the latest firmware update. Once you've confirmed you're on the right version of the firmware, 
make sure you restart the dash cam and also force close the app and reopen the app. Don't just swipe away from the app and then come back to it. Make sure it's fully closed and the app is restarted. If you don't know how to do that, just turn your phone off and on again and open HiMapper and then get mapping. The reason is some people are having the zero, zero, zero issue, meaning no images are getting captured by the dash cam. They're not downloading to your phone and you can't upload them. In fact, they are downloading on the dash cam. You just can't see them until you restart the dash cam and restart your app. Now, suppose you never made it to 100% installing. Well, don't worry, here's what to do. So make sure 100% you're connected to the dash cam Wi-Fi. Yes, I'm connected. What you then want to do is type this URL into your browser. Now, I'm gonna put the link in the description to this video. This link here, which is essentially resetting the database of the dash cam. And then it should return done, true, which it has in my case. So I've just wiped the database. What you then want to do is unplug the dash cam, force close the Hive Mapper app, plug the dash cam back in, wait for the lights to come on, connect to the dash cam Wi Fi when the lights come on, and then open the Hive Mapper app. If it's already open, force close it at this point. And we can see, because it's the same dash cam, the, the firmware version is correct. But at this point, if you uh, didn't make it to 100% before, this will now say installing, and it should then get to 100%. Now, some common issues that might happen along the way. If the notification installing update does not appear in your app, be patient, you know, restart the app. The, the best solution is always just force close like this force close the app, restart it. You can't just force close the app by exiting the screen like that. You have to make sure you swipe up on it. This is both for Android and iPhone, swipe up. That kills the process. If you don't know how to do that, just turn your phone off, then turn it on again. And then open the Hive Mapper app and come to this settings tab and it should then say installing. Also, if you see a button somewhere around here where it says trip trimming, around here somewhere that says update firmware, my advice is not to press that. Do not press that button. All that seems to happen is that kickstarts the process of downloading the update again, which then doesn't download. It gets to near 100% and then back down to zero. So don't press update firmware manually. Just connect to the dashcam Wi-Fi, close the app, reopen the app, and then it should then say installing if you give it enough time. Patience is the most important thing here. If you still have issues, get in touch with me, happy to help.